Uh, the first person to give an overview of the program is David Karatny. David is uh, uh, a special engineer with EPA at their vehicle uh, laboratory in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Uh, he's been one of the ones that's uh, been uh, tasked with the responsibility of defining this program, building this program. Uh, he is known in Ann Arbor as the RIN master. Uh, and so without further uh, complicating my relationship with David, I'll turn it over to him. Dave? Uh, thanks, Bob. The check's in the mail for that uh, nice label there. So yes, indeed I am going to be going over the uh, uh, RFS program requirements in general. The presentation that uh, you're going to be seeing on your screen in a moment here is something that we put together and showed to a, a, a wider group of folks that included not only folks from the ethanol production and distribution industry, but also uh, obligated parties such as refiners, blenders, and, and other interested parties. So as I go through this presentation, I'm going to be trying to focus uh, uh, most of my attention on those parts that have to do with the ethanol industry, and I'll be uh, skipping over more quickly aspects of the program that deal with obligated parties such as uh, refiners. Hi, I'm David Karatny, and sitting with me is John Wyrock. Uh, we gave a couple of the presentations a few moments ago. But what we're going to do now is take some questions from folks who are uh, watching this through our streaming on the Internet. And uh, let me read off the first question that we have. Is an ethanol plant that splash blends into gasoline an obligated party? Uh, obligated parties are parties that produce gasoline. So in general, that would be a refiner. It could be a blender if they're blending something like uh, butane or MTBE into gasoline, and they would only be uh, responsible, have an obligation for that portion of the volume of gasoline that they're producing. So by and large, an ethanol plant, if they're not making gasoline, uh, they would not be an obligated party. They would not have an RVO, a renewable volume obligation, and uh, they are not subject to the 4.02 standard that uh, the refiners and other gasoline producers are subject to. Okay, here's a question for John. At what point prior to production should a company begin to register for IDs and for RINs? 